Shaber 1000 here today as you can tell and probably most likely from the title we're going to make a treat uh, this should be a good candy good easy candy treat that you can make with your children grandchildren or just for fun um, so here's everything we're going to need let's go ahead and get started on this um, it's it should be pretty easy Okay guys, so I got this recipe from a YouTube channel called Tasty Recipes, whom they had got it off of YouTube as well. It's a two ingredient, it's like a fudge or a truffle. Um, it's actually called, let me see, um, Brigadero, Brigadero in Brazil. It's a... Uh, it's it's a traditional dessert there and they serve it a lot of birthday parties and stuff um, so I know there's three ingredients here but it's most you know this the butter's optional okay so you can make it with just two ingredients but the butter is optional so you know for the people that's going to go well there's three ingredients there well yeah but it don't doesn't have to be okay so I'm gonna start with this condensed milk it's 14 ounces okay which calls for I think it's 400 milliliters uh, let me see here check and make sure um, uh, 400 milliliter also other people said when you know when this is done they've used uh, melted chocolate on here and somebody even uh, said they used coconut uh, but it's 400 milliliter of condensed milk which is about it's 13 point something uh, so it's 14 ounce cans what I'm going to be using I'm going to be using four tablespoons of Hershey's cocoa this is about a tablespoon of butter here like I said the butter is optional so what we're going to do we're going to go ahead and get started on this. Um, we'll get to that pan here in a minute. Hopefully it'll work. I don't know if it will or not. But okay. um, like I said, this is this is going to be easy, guys. We're going to open the condensed milk here. Now this is sweetened. Uh, I'm sure you can use unsweetened, but. Um, that monkey get me sweetened so we're going to go ahead and pour this in here nice in fact I better grab another spoon whoa that was close get all this stuff out of here Guys, not long till Christmas now. Go. What, six days till Christmas. Five days until Christmas Eve, which is my favorite. It's the Christmas Eve. Okay. Let me taste this. Mm. Wow. That's good. That's really good. Now we're going to need four tablespoons. I'm just using Hershey's cocoa. We're just using cocoa here. Um, they just used a spoon like this. That's a tablespoon there, and she just uses a, a spoon like that. So, I, but I got a tablespoon here. Um, you know what? I think she. Okay, she. Yeah, this is why this is here. Okay, so one, two. Remember, it's not rocket scientist or rocket science. Three. You probably go a little more, a little less. There's four. Now we're going to sift it. Okay. Now 
I've got my whisk here and we just start mixing it up then we're going to put it we're going to put it on the stove once this is all mixed up and we'll we're going to heat it up for on a um, we're going to heat it up on medium heat until it thickens that's when we're going to put the butter in so I'm going to go ahead and mix this up so you guys don't have to sit here and watch this it's almost there now and I'll kick you back on here in a second okay guys so I've got you on the stove now I'm going on medium heat this goes to 10 so let's go ahead and let's put it on about five we're going to use this to stir this up because they, they tell you stir it constantly okay and, and then it'll it will get thickened up I'm going to go ahead and put my butter in. This this is softened. What I mean by that is I didn't soften it. All I did was it, it just, you know, it's what we have in our butter dish. So it, it didn't come out of the, fridger, the refrigerator. So, all right. Now, once it starts thickening up, it shouldn't take very long. I'm going to get that butter melted down in there. I'll kick you back on. It doesn't really say how long, guys, so I can't give you that answer just until it thickens up. So, I'm going to kick you back on once this starts thickening up. And then, what I did with my pan here, I'm using parchment paper. They used uh, that saran stuff, like a saran wrap type thing. Uh, I don't have any, so I'm just going to use parchment paper. It should work. So, again, let me keep stirring this. And we'll kick kick you back on as soon as it starts thickening up. Okay, guys. So this looks like it's pretty much getting there. See how thick that is? There seem to be a lot thicker, but a lot darker. Um, but I, I don't think they're from the states. But she was replying to comments in English, so I'm not sure where she was from, but. Um, Anyway, you said Brazil. It's a Brazilian. It's like a truffle. I've never made this before. All right, now let me get you over here. I'm going to put this in this pan I've got ready here. Let me back you out a little bit. All right. Like I said, it doesn't say exactly how long, but I guess different, you know, temperatures. It might not take as long as lower temperatures. Which, like I said, I was on about a five. Changed my spoon, too. I was on about a five, and then I dropped it down to a four. Okay, so. I wanted a, you know, a, a thicker spoon. Now, we can probably use this to, like I said, they used, uh, they called it clean film. Uh, I call it serene wrap, right? but it's the same thing. same thing. And then she, of course, she called this a mold, put it in a mold. Hers was more of a, of a square. This is what I got, so this is what I'm going to use. Okay. Now it's not going to be perfect, but I mean, this is my first time making this. Now I don't know if this is going to stick to the parchment paper or not, so. Um, I hope it don't. Alright, now, okay, now we're going to put this in the oven, or oven, yeah, right, we're going to put this in the fridge for one to one and a half hours. Okay guys, so it's been about an hour and 20 minutes so we're going to take some of this like I said I hope it don't stick to that parchment paper we're going to take some of this dump it in here and just kind of sprinkle it around there Okay. 
Okay. Now, let's try to get this out of here. I may have to put it in the freezer for a little bit. For, you know. Yeah, I think that's what I'm. Well, maybe not. Yeah, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put this in the freezer like this for five minutes. <laughs> that tastes good. And uh, then I'm going to wash my hands. And then I think it'll pull off there and come out. Okay, guys. So it's actually been about 15 minutes. I gave it a little bit longer. Um, just want to try to get this to come off of here and we'll set that right on there there we go okay not bad that worked now I'm going to turn this this way now they tell you to put Thought I wasn't recording. Sprinkle this on the top. So I was going to put, and we're going to cut this. Um, I got to wash my hands again. I was going to put powdered sugar on here, but I can't seem to find it. Uh, so I, I don't know what happened to it. Uh, let me wash my hands and then uh, we'll cut this up. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut this up. I'm just going to take some of this and kind of put it on here to keep it from sticking. So, like I said, it's not the prettiest, but this is just kind of like we're just trying it out, you know. And yes, it's supposed to be kind of gooey like that. Probably should have cut two lines, but because this is going to be rich. And they tell you to put some of this stuff on your hands and fingers, and it'll keep it from sticking to you let's do this that's kind of a big one there but we'll cut them in half again once we gonna give them another cut and I'll put these on a different plate too so it'll be a little more presentable um, you know if you take your time putting it in the pan and smooth it out a little bit better than well a lot better than what I did um, yeah it'll be a lot nicer but as you guys know, I'm not a real chef. I'm actually a mechanic, but Chef Shea Bear is just stuff I like to do because I do like to cook. I'm not a chef. Don't want to be. But I like doing stuff like this. There's them. Now what we're gonna do? I'm gonna wash my hands again. I wash my hands a lot, guys. <laughs> so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna 
fix these up. That's monkey. I was asking her if she knew where the powdered sugar was. We may not have any. And just kind of make them a little bit more square. You know, you could use small cookie cutters. They make them many for many cookies on on these. You can do your own designs. Whatever. Alright. So now. Okay, let me get ready. Get another plate ready. Wash my hands. And then we'll we'll put them on a plate and I'll I'll give them a shot. Okay guys, so I've got I'm gonna try a little piece here. They're a little messy. See what it tastes like. Wow. It's rich. The cocoa's is excellent. It kind of it takes away so you don't have too much sweetness, but it is sweet. Like I said, um, some people pour um, chocolate chocolate syrup over it, or you know uh, another kind of chocolate on it. I was gonna put um, some powdered sugar on here, but I mean they are just fine. Mmm. And the good thing about this is, like I said, we use the sweetened condensed milk. You can use unsweetened. You gotta be careful what I make for her and her mom because they are diabetic. I think this is, this would be pretty good for them as long as they don't just sit and gorge on them. I think it'd be fine. Um, fun, quick and easy treat. The longest part really is just waiting on it in the refrigerator. Um, yeah, it turned out fine. It tastes great. Your kids will love it. Your grandkids will love it. And you will love it. And with that being said, I'm going to say Shea Bear, the myth, the man, the legend. I'm going for now. Uh, hope you hope you guys have a great week coming up. Christmas is coming up. So I thought I'd do a little uh, little uh, Christmas candy here for you. So anyway, guys, again, thanks for watching. Appreciate it. And we'll see you guys in the next one. Y'all stay safe and bye-bye and take care.